This is Michael Wu from YeProgramming.com. I'm going to talk about discriminate analysis. Linear and culture take discriminate analysis. Now I set up two set of data, um, group X and group Y. I have already preset the data. Now let's put out the data to see how they are looks like. Group A is 1500 data points, group Y is 1000 data points. Okay, so you see like there are three groups of blue and two groups of red in here. Now, it is like if you use a straight line, it's, it's quite infeasible to separate those data. Now, step one, I'm going to combine all the data. Okay, so all data is combined group X and group Y. Now I'm going to put some label for X and Y. Okay, so there are two labels. One is X, one is Y, and then there are 15,000 of X and uh, 1,000 of, 1,500 of X and 1,000 of Y. Now I'm going to set 80% to be the chain data, 20% to be the testing data, okay? And in here I use like random function to uh, give, it's just like higher than uh, bigger than the number 0.8, then I will consider that as testing. Otherwise, I will consider it as chaining. Okay. Okay, so there are two different types of discriminate analysis in this video. One is linear, the other one is quadratic. Now that will be like, at the end what you will see. Now let's see like, how are we going to like make those graph. Okay, now that this this in here is the syntax. We use the function called classify. Okay, so in here we use the linear classifier. And we are going to run the analysis and displace the con confuse, confuse matrix. Okay, now, so what you see in here is um, the results. The confusion matrix, so like, okay, 223 of them classify as X. Yes, X is right. And then like 50 something of them, you say, uh, it's supposed to be X, but classify as Y. Now, so let's try to uh, put the 9. This line is like the classification line uh, separate between like, group X and group Y. This line in here is only for linear, okay, linear uh, classification. Now, but at this point, we all we are going to also do the quadratic, okay? Now the difference is like at the end in here you see is like D I A G quadratic. 
okay, is now we see a little confirmations and the number looks much better. Okay, so we have the linear discriminate analysis line, a linear line and also the quadratic line. We are going to put both of them on the graph and also put the data, okay? So here is the quadratic curve. Now I'm going to pause the data point. And then after I plot it, you will see that the red group and the blue group are separated clearly by the quadratic line. If your research or engineering projects are falling behind, eeprogrammer.com can help you get them back on track without exploding your budget. Let us know what you need. You'll find relief here. Visit eeprogrammer.com. We can help you.